Welcome! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I achieved my Wonder Woman comic book look using Full Synergence Cosmetics. First, I use Witch Hazel, a light astringent that helps control with oil, leaving me with a clean canvas to work with. Next, I use a primer. I use Synergence Silk Pore and Wrinkle Minimizer about a three quarters of a pump since we are doing full face makeup and we want this look to last. Allow the silk to soak in and set for five to 10 minutes before applying makeup. Next I go in with my green color correcting concealer by Cinegents to hide any redness or imperfections. To neutralize the blue and purple dark circles under my eyes, I use Natural Color Correcting Concealer by Cinegents. I do apply it evenly underneath my eyes and use a beauty blender to blend around and down. To neutralize and brighten up darkness, I use Sandstone Pearl Cream Shadow Scents as primer. Blend all over the eyelid, into both corners, and right below the brow. I especially like Sandstone Pearl Shadow Scents for its highly pigmented and blendable feel. Next, I apply Mocha Java Shadow Scents directly to the crease and blend out until the desired warmth is achieved. Next, take your blending brush and blend out any harsh lines. Next, I use Copper Rose Shimmer Shadow Scents applied directly to the eyelids. Using your eyeshadow brush, gently move the color around your eyelid. Allow that layer to set while working on the other eye, using the same technique. Apply up to three to four layers, alternating between the eyes until desired saturation is achieved. To create a budge proof and waterproof long lasting look, when working with shadow scents, make sure to apply in thin layers with plenty of set time in between. The same concept as you use with lip scents. For this look, I'm using our oil-free Original Make Sense Foundation in Dewy. Using one full pump, I apply it evenly with my Kabuki brush.
Since for this look we are going for a comic book flawless look, I use a second pump evenly spread throughout my face using the Kabuki brush. If desired, a third pump could be used. Next, I take my beauty blender and blend throughout, giving it the airbrushed flawless look. Now it's time to bake. Using our natural translucent powder and a mini beauty blender, I apply the powder directly under my eyes. While our powder is setting, I take Sandstone Pearl Shimmer Shadow Scents to highlight underneath the brow. I apply the shadow directly onto my brush and in short strokes apply it underneath my eyebrow. Next, I'm going to contour. For this look, since we are using warmer colors, I will be using our bronze blush scents. Be sure to use very little and blend out well. Since we will be painting on contour lines, we don't need this to be very stated. Now let's blend out underneath our eyes. Here is where we get to see the comic book vibrant colors come to life. Using cherry blush scents, apply very little to right above your cheekbones and blend out well. Remember, we are trying to resemble a vibrant comic book painting, so don't shy away too much from the color. Now here is where we see definition. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using Brown Lash Sense Mascara and an angle brush. I've chosen Brown Lash Sense Mascara for my eyebrows to stay with the warm comic book look. Shape your brows by drawing a defined line. Then fill in to desired saturation. Now for the glossy comic book highlight. I use Pearlizer Make Sense Original Foundation and apply directly above my 
cheekbones, to my cupid's bow, and to my chin. For this look, I did apply two layers of pearlizer, but to shorten this video, I'm only showing you the one. To give us a angled feminine look, I'm using our white color correcting concealer right above my jawbone, blending out with a beauty blender. To give my nose a little bit more of an angle, I apply right in the middle the same white color correcting concealer. Here we get to see the costume makeup come alive. Here I'm using Lip Sense in Bronze Shimmer for the headband. Don't worry too much on the lines. You will get to make that headband a little bit more defined when you use the Blackberry to outline it. I am applying the Bronze Shimmer Lip Sense directly from the applicator, working in one area at a time, making sure to allow some dry time in between before going over that area again, making sure I don't pick up the color. Allow the first layer to dry completely before applying a second layer. Just like Lip Sense, you can apply a third layer once the second layer is dry. Now it's time to draw our comic book lines. I use Blackberry Lip Sense and the applicator directly to draw my cheek line from the center of my ear. Confidence is key when drawing these lines. And don't worry about imperfections. We are trying to achieve a hand-drawn look. For the jawline, I use the thickness of the applicator to create a paintbrushed look, layering it to create different depth. If you mess up, work quickly. Use a little bit of witch hazel to correct your mistake. To create those defined lines, I roll a pencil brush directly onto the applicator to pick up the color. Again, I am using Blackberry Lip Sense and not Onyx Shadow Sense to create this look. Work quickly and again, work with confidence. In all honesty though, my nose is pretty round, so the nose lines for this makeup look probably are not the best choice. I will be experimenting with different comic book line looks for the next time I attempt this makeup. Next I use Blackberry Lip Sense again directly onto my brush to create what I like to call the lines of determination. <laughs> next again using your thin striping brush and Blackberry Lip Sense Go ahead and outline your gold 
headband. As you can see here, I start to extend out the corner of the front of the headband to create a definition, almost like a shadow between the headband and the forehead. Oops, I forgot to record me doing the chin line, but it's pretty easy. You can see it's the same brush I was using with Blackberry Lip Sense and just one line right above the chin. Now it's time for our comic book lip look. I'm using Witch Hazel on a pad to remove any makeup and having clean dry lips before I apply a lip sense. For the bright red comic book lip look, I'm choosing Fly Girl Lip Sense. Apply as you usually would, in three thin layers with plenty of dry time in between. Here you don't have to worry too much about your lip line because we will be drawing over it with Blackberry Lip Sense. We absolutely want plenty of dry time because this is not our only three layers. Next apply just a small amount of Blackberry Lip Sense at the corners, allowing them to dry. Then lightly go over those Blackberry corners with a little bit of your Fly Girl, again letting it dry. Here I am using Snow Shadow Scents for the light looks to make those lips look absolutely glossy. I already attempted this with Snow Lip Scents, but it was too opaque, so I let that dry and then go over those spots already with my light shadow scents in Snow. Now it's time to line those lips. Using your striping brush, Roll it over your Blackberry Lip Sense applicator and start applying. Use overstated angles at your cupid's bow and corners. Overdraw and define those angles at the corners to create that hand-drawn comic book smirk.
Once everything is dry, apply Glossy Gloss liberally to the lips to create a barrier and to seal that work. Now it's time to work on the eyes. Next I use Snow Shadow Scents with a small angle brush and apply it directly to my waterline. Make sure to extend into the inner corners. Next, you're going to take that same striping brush and blackberry lip scents and line your eyes. Remember, blackberry lip scents does have alcohol in it, so when using it as an eyeliner, a best practice is to blow onto the brush before applying the color as eyeliner. This helps by evaporating some of the alcohol. As you can see, I've already applied my eyeliner to the right side of my face. I'm only showing you the left side because my camera angle shows more of my detailed strokes better and it also shortens this video. I'm not as thrilled with the eyeliner for this attempt just because I have two little toddlers and sometimes time is not necessarily on my side when applying these makeups. So if I do this makeup look again, I might come back and edit this part of the video showing a cleaner uh, attempt at this eyeliner. It was starting to get difficult at this point because the alcohol had started to evaporate pretty quickly from the blackberry lip scents, leaving my brush a little bit stiff, but that's okay. The next time I recreate this look, hopefully they will have black eye scents eyeliner in and my application will be a lot smoother. I'm pretty confident it'll look better the next time. First when I applied this part I was getting a bit frustrated because it looked really sloppy but then I realized again we're looking for a comic book hand drawn hand painted lines so sometimes the imperfections can can actually define the makeup. Now it's time for a finishing touch. I roll Fly Girl Lip Scents directly onto another striping brush and draw out the red star that is on top of Wonder Woman's headband. As you can see, as I'm applying and filling in the red star, my Blackberry Lip Scents eyeliner is starting to kind of stick together, so I went back with a little bit of thin layer of Onyx Shadow Scents above that to kind of seal those lines without being too sticky. Now using a striping brush and snow shadow scents, I go back and define the white lines to give a little bit more definition to our comic book hand-drawn look. With my hair down, here's the final look. If you liked this tutorial and would like to see more, like and subscribe.